Hello everyone, what's up? Prince 15 here with another video review. Today I'm reviewing LEGO Star Wars set number 75164, Rebel Trooper Battle Pack from Star Wars, or Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Probably, that's probably what this is from. Just basing, just judging by the designs. Uh, but before we take a look at the set, let's take a quick look at the box. This box has endured some punishment, but hey, oh well. It's a Battle Pack box there, meant to get the job done, not necessarily be the sturdiest. I mean, look at that. So uh, here we have the Rebel Troopers. This is from Lego Star Wars. There's a Death Trooper up in the corner. It's, uh, it's for ages 6 to 12. Of course, that's just a suggestion. They have to put that on there. 75164, Rebel Trooper Battle Pack, 120 pieces. It's a building toy in several different languages. <sighs> Disney! Uh, flip it over to the back. You see that you have a turret that can move around. Rebel Troopers doing their stuff. And <sighs> Disney! And that's pretty much it for the box. So, here we have the Rebel Trooper Battle Pack. Uh, this was released, if I'm remembering correctly, it was, this, it was the early winter of 2017. Uh, and it was at, right after Rogue One came out. It's been a while since the set's been released. I've had it a while, just now getting around to reviewing it, because I'm lazy. Uh, well, not, no, not necessarily I'm lazy, it's just I've been busy working on other stuff. So here we go. Um, interesting that they call it the Rebel Trooper Battle Pack, because I'm fairly certain that these are Saw Gerrera's partisans. Just based on the background, uh, not necessarily this one, but the, uh, but the Imperial Trooper Battle Pack, which, you know, if you put them together, then it looks like they're, they're going up against each other. Uh, that one, the background on that one really looked like they were on Jetta. So that would make, so that leads me to believe that these are Saw Gerrera's partisans. Um, and they kind of, and they kind of look like more of the motley crew rebels that we see during that section of Rogue One. So yeah, here they are. Uh, there's not really too much interesting about the minifigures. They're just some nice rebel grunts to have. But the nice thing is that they all do have unique uh, printing on here. Each one of them is different. There's not a repeated face in the bunch, so that's cool. They all look like different rebels. So here's this little guy on a speeder. Of course, you do have the option on these to put the things up there or right there. Although, if you ask me, that just that just looks silly. So uh, there's not really too much going on with the speeder. Uh, it's got a little place to hold some blasters, but other than that, it's just a small little speeder. I think it's actually rather cute. I, I actually really like this thing. Like, so, not really much going on there, but it gets the job done. It's a nice little speeder. And then this is really, in my opinion, the bigger draw of the uh, of the set, besides the minifigures, of course, is that you do get this little turret. So it can, well, when the minifigure's not in the way, it can move around, it can move up and down, just because this turret would really be in the way. Here's this minifigure, looking very nice. So of course there's a place for you to put a uh, blaster and the spare studs because in play you might end up losing a few because here we have a stud shooter. We know how this works by now. Boom, play feature, awesome. I honestly, I wish these things had shown up 10 years earlier. I would have loved that when I was nine years old. So yeah, the, the little bunker turret here, I feel like is a bigger draw to this set um, beside the, uh, instead of the speeder. For me anyway, because you get, you get a couple of these, you can have little turrets set up and you can have a nice little battleground going on. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the set. Uh, it's, it's a battle pack. There's never really too much to talk about with battle packs. They're just nice little minifigure packs that you get some small vehicles with. And then, and, um, up until this, or excuse me, this past year is 2019 now, uh, but 2018 didn't see the best battle packs released. Uh, they were, the ones that we got were just kind of so-so. Um, but 2017 had some really good battle packs. You know, you had this one, you had the uh, First Order, you had the First Order Transport battle pack. Um, that one was really good. Uh, then, of course, there was the Imperial Trooper battle pack, which, you know, was supposed to go with this one. Um, 
if I still had the box, I'd put the box right next to it. But, you know, that one was really good. 2017 was a great year for LEGO Star Wars Battle Packs. So this one is no exception to that rule. It's great. Uh, if you can still find it on store shelves, because it's like a two-year-old set now, if you still can find it on store shelves, I would highly recommend it. It's definitely worth a buy, uh, in my opinion, if you're wanting to grow your uh, Rebel Legions. Because, well, here's four right here, and you get, uh, you get some armaments to go with them. Uh, especially if you're looking to build more of a Saw Gerrera partisan type uh, Rebel Legion and not your typical Mon Mothma brand. So yeah, I like it. I recommend it. And that's pretty much it for this video. So uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Remember to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those links are in the description below and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.